Hey guys, Dmike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We nabbed the Brilliant Diamond, Dialga, the temporal legendary Pokemon. And now we are headed to Sunny Shore City. We spent a little bit of time heading this way last time. But today we're gonna clean up the rest of the mess here. You know what, we'll walk with Steven. We haven't walked with Steven for a long time. Sorry, Steven. There's a lot of trainers to fight. So, I apologize in advance if this episode is a little bit on the uh, more dry side to start. But don't worry. We're gonna do just fine. So we're gonna start off a scintillating battle between Luxray, Steven, and Magikarp. Things are getting a little dicey here. But yes, we will hopefully be able to power through these battles here today as we head towards Sunny Shore. It'll potentially be a very electric episode. Speaking of things that are electric, this chant, no, I'm kidding. I was gonna try to dress it up, but yeah, hey, haven't said one of these in a while, but if you're enjoying this content, throw a subscribe my way and follow along. Make sure you stay up to date with all the things. I'm trying to get back to being more consistent for everybody, so hopefully that works out for all y'alls. Continue to like the video so I know which content are really tickling your fancy. And comment. I love reading comments. I try to respond to as many of them as I can, so really appreciate all the feedback and things I'm hearing from everybody and the viewership. Really appreciate it all. Love all you guys. You're the best. So continue on enjoying making and watching content. It's a symbiotic relationship. So more fishers to fight. I just don't understand at this point, unless there's some sort of sentimental value why you would bother keeping a Magikarp on your team all the way up to level 40. I mean, it's probably more of a joke at this point in the game, but, you know, in general, it just seems a little silly. I'm gonna do my best to sweep these fools. We've got bigger fish to fry. I wonder where that phrase came around. Are there people that are, like, frying a very inadequate sized fish and they're just really disappointed like ah oh, man I got bigger fish to fry. These fish aren't good enough. I know some people have fish fries on Fridays. It's more of a religious thing I think. Because I guess fish aren't considered meat somehow which I think is a little weird but what's not weird is uh, Steven coming in after being on the bench for a little bit and absolutely wrecking these fools. That's amazing, and we love it. I'm gonna try to get the remainder, remain, remainder, remainder, wow, that was rough. Get the remainder of my team that hasn't had a chance to really get a lot of spotlight lately, try to catch up in some levels. That'll be good. We're heading around the mid 40s at this point, so. It's time to get everybody caught up as we prepare for the victory road and we'll have to decide who of the remaining like I don't know I like a dozen Pokemon that I've been alternating throughout the series which of those dozen will make the final six <gasps> who knows place your bets yeah these uh these fights not ideal not super Super cool and fun, not super great. Cause it's just a bunch of magic harps. Like I get it. I really get it. Would greatly appreciate not having to do this. This is a bit of a butt. So I'm just gonna power through it. You know, as much as I would love there to be a little bit more nuance to what I'm trying to do. I don't see much value in making you guys sit through this. No way. You know, it's just a bunch of Magikarps, Finneons, just very basic, lame fish Pokemon. Though I do like Finneon's color scheme, that dark blue, kind of teal and pink. It's a nice 
Nice combination. But still, just as susceptible as ever to Thunderbolt. My goodness. Absolutely no chance. This is good. There's been a few people, a few people, a few Pokemon on the team that haven't really had a lot of spotlight lately. And, uh, ooh, Phoebus, or Phoebas. Phoebas is a Pokemon from the Ruby and Sapphire generation, where uh, there was a spot in the game. I think it was like a river with a waterfall. And that's the only place you could find it. And in that waterfall, there would only be six squares, I think, a day. And it would be in one of those six squares. And it would alternate, I believe. That's the only way you could catch Feebass. And then after you would catch Feebass, which Feebass is about as useless as Magikarp, if you wanted it to evolve, back in those games, that's when they introduced contests. So you had to feed it these uh, berry blocks that you'd make when you put berries in this berry spinner and whatever. Whatever the poke blocks, whatever those are called, I forget. But they're kind of like candy, I guess. So you would make these poke block candy things and you would, f as long as they, uh, there were certain concoctions that you could make with the poke blocks that over time you would make ones that were drawn more towards the stat of enhancing beauty. So, Phoebus being super, super superficial. You feed it enough beauty blocks that I guess it enhances that stat. In the same way as other stats, I don't know. You you keep going, you enhance that beauty stat, you level it up, and then you get a Milotech or Milotic. Which is a good Pokemon. So it's kind of like an ugly duckling thing, I suppose, but it's very strange and I don't know. I wasn't a fan of it. There's a lot of work involved just to get that to happen. And I think like the uh, the champion of that generation had a Milotic, I think, or something. So clearly they're willing to put in the work. Are you average trainer? I don't know. I think that's too much for me. Wasn't really into the whole contest thing anyway. So trying to enhance the different arbitrary vanity stats. I just didn't care. But I think that's all the fishermen. Fisher persons. Fisher Price. I think we fought this child already, which is great. I love fighting kids. There's an item up there, though. I do want it. So we're gonna wipe out... Ooh, and some berries. Wait. These, any of these good? Wikipedia berries? Okay. Can we use... No, these are just... These are for Pofin. Don't care about Pofin. Sorry, that might be part of the metagame. Oh, Jar of Honey. Part of the metagame that people really enjoy as I push Steven out of the way. But unfortunately, for those of you who enjoy that, I apologize. I don't think that it's bad. I just personally am not interested. So, Ooh, there's an item back there. I missed that. Oops. Oops. We can sneak right past your back. Ooh, and it even lets me skip the grass. All right, game. I am on board with that. Much appreciated. What is this? A bottle of Carbos. At some point, I'll probably wind up distributing the vitamins. Those are stat-inducing things that you can give your Pokemon to get them swole. Probably not a bad idea to help your Pokemon beef up if you're struggling a little bit. I'm not struggling. I think this is the last trainer. Before we get to Sunny Shore, that's nice. There's a lot to do on Sunny Shore to explore, so I'm trying to knock these fools out. Oh, see, this guy's got a Feebass. He must have spent time in hoeing. He's just hoeing around, you know. Getting himself a Feebass, as you do. This episode has just been, uh... Pure... Destruction via Thunderbolt. That's all that it is. I haven't used any other move yet, so... Feeling pretty good about it. Bye. Maybe if you'd evolved, you would have been useful, but now you're dead. Ooh, a Gastrodon. I can't use Steven for that one. We have our own Gastrodon. We don't really have anything good for Gastrodon itself, so let's uh, let's get Dimitri in there. It's been a bit. It's been a hot minute, unless it knows ancient power. That could be a bit of a butt. But yeah, we're getting some... Uh, 
some unfamiliar faces. It's been a it's been a bit since we've seen some. I like to try to mix it up a little bit. I guess I haven't been mixing it up as much as usual, but that will change. Don't worry. Oh, there. <laughs> what did I just say? Super uncool. Oh, and look, of all the times that I've used ancient power, I've never seen that happen. That's amazing. Wow, I wish I would have had that happen for my team. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's get Grayson in there. I have a lot of levels that I would like Grayson to gain between now and the Elite Four. I'm gonna try not to... Ooh, that's not good. Oh man, Grayson's defenses are poo poo kachu. I'm gonna try not to... I'm gonna try not to grind before the Elite Four. I just want to stick to the levels gained via trainer fight. So, actually this is probably a bad move too. Can my team just stand up to anything? My goodness. Oh yeah, there's nothing I have here is gonna be good. Oh boy, this Gastrodon's gonna be thick too, isn't it? Yep. All right. I waltz through the first handful of trainers and then I run into one Gastrodon, and this is when all heck breaks loose. Oh, man. We'll use the nuclear option here with Charlie. Oh, come on. Who has time for recovering? Nobody. That's okay. I think a nice close combat from Charlie should be enough to dunk on this Gastrodon. It is not. Holy smokes, what is this thing made out of? It's been eating its Wheaties. That's a funny thing to say, because I don't even think people... Do Wheaties even exist anymore? Is all... All right, so that was cheap. We got a little bit of a an unofficial sturdy hanging in there. And you know what? I'm done with you. How about another close combat right to the face? Yeah. Whew, that was brutal. That almost knocked out my entire team. The value of Samuel... A lot of Pokemon are going to get experience for this one. A lot of participation involved. Everybody gets a trophy. What is this? A generation of people who are soft? Does everybody think that they're a winner? We can't all be winners. I'm not really sure how I feel about that mentality. That's just a way to, like, you know, boost people's spirits and uh, make them feel included. And then there's always people that are going to be butts about it. You want to turn it into a, a power dynamic, and that's not really what it's meant to be. Who's upset about that anyway? Like, who's upset about making people feel good? Like, obviously, there's probably an extent to which it's not healthy. Like, if you, if you perpetually convince somebody that there's something that they're not, that's obviously going to be a problem. But I mean, like, in general, are participation trophies being done for adults? Probably not. It's mainly for kids. And it's not like the people who are, were already going to get their egos pumped up weren't going to have that happen anyway. And they're probably doing just fine. So it's, you know, it's an attempt to level the playing field, make things a little bit more equitable for the, for the little guy. People who get upset about that are probably turds themselves. Okay, so heading into Sunny Shore. Shockingly electric. Oh, this guy doesn't understand how words work. Ooh, he needs a worthwhile challenger. Well, do I have just the thing for him? Okay, and we are confronted by Ronald McDonald. Yo, fellow trainer. Yo, fellow kids. Look at my cool chain wallets. What on earth are those? Like, what's the point of that? Maybe he just got done, like, parachuting or something. He has gray eyeballs. Where's your clown nose? Ooh, he's an Elite Four member? Oh, I need to bow my lowly head. Okay, so he's a little bit underwhelmed by the lack of competition in the area. So he's been renovating the gym, a little bit of feng shui. It was a blackout. Oh, we can light him up, don't worry. We'll take care of you, buddy. No worries. So here we are, everybody, the final city of the game. Sunny Vale. Sunny Shore, I don't know the name of it. Okay, let's heal, because we, whew, we were feeling a bit sluggish fighting that Gastrodon. My goodness, that's not good. We're gonna give this gym leader what for. 
How about that? I'm not afraid of him. Get our final badge, and I do know for a fact that the gym leader does have four Pokemon. I don't remember what they are, but I know there's four. Okay. So apparently it's a very sunny spot, and they've turned the road into solar panels, and we're walking all over them. Because screw you. These solar panels are pretty neat. I've seen some houses with solar panels on them. I think that's pretty interesting. But it appears that the gym leader is a bit of a power hog. A little bit selfish. That, what did he say? That giant rock, is it a Pokemon? Pokemon Rock, Sunny Shores, Heritage. What does that mean? Ooh, a Thunderstone. We don't actually have anything that needs a Thunderstone, but if you do, there it is. We can climb this rock here. Using our handy dandy Beebrill and find out what is in this house. Hello, I'm coming in. Hello, sir, madam. Nerd. Ooh, do we get a Pokech thing? Can I do you a favor? Sure. Okay, calendar app. Do we get different things for different natures? Okay, is that it? A naive nature? Do I have that? I mean, I don't really care about any of this, but... What are you? Calm, sassy, lax, rash, quiet, and serious. Why so serious, Grace? Nope. You can probably get a buttload of uh, the Poketch apps if you meet up with that nerd and uh, complete your Poketch, but I don't care about that. There's probably some cool ones. We got a calendar. That's all you need. Now we can remember what days of the week are. Does anybody remember days of the week? It's been a while since I've had to do that. Oh, so you guys are insulated. A boy named Cyrus lived in Sunny Shore. Ooh, sounds like Cyrus might be on the spectrum. Okay. He's a bit of a bonkers boy. Ooh, ribbons for Pokemon. Let's check it out just for completion's sake, but not for actual completion's sake. Aw, oh, that's sad. Tell me a story, Julia. Oh, starting tomorrow. Well, we'll never hear that story. Because we are getting the heck out of here after today. One and done. Ooh, who's that? That's an interesting looking person down there. Oh, hey, it's that ginger again. I don't really know if this counts for him being a ginger, though. His hair looks a little bit too rouge for that to be a thing. What is this? The Sunny Shore Market for stickers. Yeah, I have not... Uh, I've not been slapping them on my balls, but don't worry. Okay, can he do that? Okay, so these are just people that are talking about the underground. I am aware of that. Yes, if you go into the underground at different spots, you can get different things. Okay, so wonderful. Like they're trying to like bring it back. Like, hey, did you do you remember the underground? Do we were do we remember it? Okay, so we already talked to you. Let's actually go in the place with the stickers for a moment. I want to make sure I go in every house because I don't typically do that. Are you just selling stickers? Please tell me that's not what this is. Uh, rude. Rude. That guy's got pokeballs. Oh, it's a daily sticker merchant, huh? I bet he's a stickler for a sticker. What is it? Wait, what did that say? Okay. Can I not? Oh, do I not get him from you? Do I get him from you? Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't care about that at all. My goodness. Wow. If you're into the aesthetics of having a, uh, a well established and well curated set of balls, then by all means, you know? But we need to go into the lighthouse because apparently the gym leader is being a little baby in here. He doesn't want to take any fights because everybody's too weak and blah, blah, blah. 
the Vista Lighthouse. I believe that means view in Spanish. All right, bud. Chop, chop, back to the gym. And that's all it took. So it sounds like we've reignited his passion. He's gonna just unload on us. We really gave him a bit of a spark to get back to work, you know, doing his gosh dang job. Let's see if he puts in these binoculars. Okay, so apparently the Rocket Pop Pokemon League is on top of a waterfall. That's pretty neat. I feel like that's the way the one was in, uh, in Ruby and Sapphire, too. I feel like theirs was. We had to take a waterfall to get to that one, too. Is that the ultimate test of a Pokemon trainer? Knowing waterfall? Nothing else matters. Either you know waterfall or you don't, and if you don't, you're no friend of mine. Oops, going the wrong way. So this is a an electric gym, in case you couldn't have figured it out by all the hints and obvious shenanigans. But before we go there, we saw this young lady hanging out here. Who is this? This might ring a bell if you're a fan of Gen 2. It's Jasmine. But you're not doing your job right now. Get back to work, Jasmine. So she basically just says, get the gym or get the heck out of my face. So we will get that gym. This badge is gonna be completing our set. It's right, you recognize our toughness. We're so tough. All right, so Flint, you and Jasmine go bump uglies if you want. In the meantime, we got a gym to do. Here we go, who's ready? Yes, an electric gym to get us fired up. This is the final one of the Sinnoh region. Let's do it. One, two, three, seven, yes. Good math. Oh, bittersweet. The master of electric type Pokemon, but there are more than just electric type Pokemon in this gym, which is real stupid. So prepare yourself for that. And what better Pokemon to lead us off? an electric gem than Grayson. I'm trying to just level these Pokemon up. There's not really, they're not really the best fit for this gym, obviously, but that's not really what we're going for right now. What am I doing? How do I, is that the only switch? Oh wait, I goofed. Yes, so we have these stupid rotating gear puzzles. These are not. I don't want to say difficult, because the moment I say difficult, it's going to make me look stupid, so there's that. But we are going to fight a bunch of kids with their electric-type Pokemon. I don't know if we've actually seen a Pachirisu yet. That's kind of the Pokemon clone of Pikachu from this generation, I think. But Grayson, being a Dragon-type and Ground-type, He's gonna have a lot of resistances against the Pokemon of this gym, which is nice. I don't know if I'm particularly fond of the team I have to finish off the entire gym, but this is a great place to, to train Grayson, which he's gonna need a lot of levels. Maybe we can find more of the, uh, what am I trying to say? We can find more rare candies instead of burning them all on Raymond. Which, as we have now learned, we didn't need to do that. Could have probably evolved like 20 levels prior and made my life a lot easier. Okay, this guy has no eyebrows. With his, uh... With his Goku-looking self, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So we're doing great. Okay, so let's take on this Luxio. Steven Wannabe. Did that not... Oh, it didn't knock it out. I thought that it did. It's a pretty strong Luxio, okay. I'm actually hoping at some point that Grayson would learn uh, Earthquake.
Egg scissor. Um, I mean, yeah. We have some pretty good moves here. I mean, I'm probably not gonna use sand attack very much. Let's go all offense all the time. We have toxic. No worries. Easy peasy. No on course for you and your pink guitar. Maybe you would have done better if you had eyebrows. Who knew how valuable eyebrows could be? Okay, so let's spin the gears. That'll lower the platforms here and you can walk across. This isn't the worst puzzle in the world. It's a little bit annoying. And there are eight, eight gym trainers. So here's Forrest, he's a nerd. See, he's got a Mr. Mom. That's not even a, uh, that's not even an electric type. I almost said psychic type, that's exactly what it is. It's not even a thing that it is. Okay, so what, uh, you know what? I think it's still weak to ghost. Should be. Yeah, you thought. You thought, Mr. Mime. Wrong. How do we feel about Mr. Mime? I already talked about it last time, but, you know, Mr. Mime in general. And then it's Evolution Mr. Rhyme, I think it's what it's called. Very strange. It also gets the, uh, the, the Galar region version of Mr. Mime, which is, uh, what is it? It's like, uh, it's like an ice type. Very strange. Oh boy, this is gonna feel not good. It's okay, Dimitri's a bit of a tank. It knows Thunderbolt, so that, that's good enough. Maybe that's the rules. You don't actually have to have a, an electric Pokemon, you just have to be able to make electric attacks. Ah, he couldn't see the forest for the trees. Got him! All right. Moving along. I'm assuming this is what the game wants me to do. Because now we're on the other side. This is going to be a bit of a butt though, because this is not really the team that I want for the gym trainer, or for the gym leader. Gym trainers are fine. Oh, look at her and her cute little Pokemon onesie. She's got Pikachu. Even matches her Pikachu. That's cute. Too bad I have to use my ground dragon to crush its soul. Sorry, Pikachu. Bye. In a bulldozer dreams. I don't feel sorry about that. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna dip out of the gym at some point to swap out the team. Like I said, I also only want to have the four just to make it fair. I could have done that from the beginning, but I guess I didn't really think about that. It's kind of a neat little thing. I don't know if anybody else making Let's Plays of this game is doing it. Maybe I'm the only one, because I'm amazing. Is anybody else epic enough to challenge themselves like I do? I don't know. Probably not. Everybody coming in hot with their six Pokemon, thinking they're better than everybody else. All right, and another Pikachu. Let's see. I don't really... I bet Sharon could tank a Thunderbolt. Probably fast enough to slide in a close combat just trying to get these members of the crew up to the mid 40s i'm pretty sure that the gym leaders pokemon are mid to high 40s so we should be pretty close at that juncture feeling pretty good about our odds might be a little under leveled but oh get out of here you and your after battle shenanigans. I don't like that. How many Pikachus do you have, Megan? Jeez. You got an H in your name and four Pikachus. Who do you think you are? Oh boy. Electro Ball. I think that's a special move that Pikachu learns if it's a, uh, a V. Wow. There is a. There's a hold item that a Pichu can learn. Maybe it's Volt Tackle. 
I don't know, maybe that's just a regular mode. I think I'm getting things confused. But if you do have a Pichu and it's evolved using some Electro Light Orb thing, I think that it does give P Pikachu Volt Tackle as a move, which is pretty neat. All right, so another creep with no eyebrows. Whether you're a trainer or a guitarist. Those are the two binaries of life. Either you're a trainer or you're a guitarist. Those are your choices. Choose now. Still really love Raichu. I think I actually like Raichu better than Pikachu. And I like Alolan Raichu even more than regular Raichu. It's amazing. But I have a feeling that Grayson's going to be a heavy lifter in this gym. It's got a high attack stat. It's fast. It knows bulldoze. And I feel like we're probably going to bulldoze the competition, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. And the team is decently quick. I still feel like I had... No. Absolutely not. I still feel like my team overall... Ooh, what was that? That was a weird face. My team overall has a deficiency of speed, which makes things a little complicated and kind of annoying, but, you know, what am I going to do about it? Okay, so we go continue hitting the big red button. I think that's... This is trainer six or five. Can't do math. Did not come here to play school. Ooh, it's an ace trainer with her satchel. She's got her fanny pack. Once again, another non, uh... Another non-electric type. That's okay. We'll bring in Scarlet. Haven't had the chance to use her very much. I like the ability to bring my Pokemon in and out, even in potential situations where they might be compromised. You know, like now. Because I don't really have a ton of use. Oh, this is annoying. Stop it. I don't have a ton of use for a Poison Dark Pokemon on the reg. But, you know, there are situations where Scarlet even has her moments fighting through a Reflect, a Critical, a Kadabra. Who doesn't love that? Everyone should if you're as epic as I. Okay. So let's not waste any time. I'm back to Grayson. The gym leader, I don't remember what it's Pokemon loadout is, but I do remember it being weird. I, I would assume there's at least at least one electric type. So it's got that going for it. So at least bring some form of a ground type. I can't I can't really recommend who else to bring. But why did that Why did that stop my bulldoze? That's lame. And I like bulldoze a lot. What a great move. It's strong. It's good in double battles if your partner Pokemon is immune to ground type moves if you levitate or if you're a bird. So that's great. That should give us a fair amount of experience. We're actually getting a lot of level ups in this gym, which I do enjoy. Well, you know what? I guess it just wasn't your destiny. Boom, got him. How's that feel, m'lady? All right. So there's the gym leader. This is what our gym leader did out of boredom. Yeah, I guess these did say he continually renovates the gym, so... Ah, uh, the tongue. That's the part that makes me feel... Ugh. No. I also like that he's tapping his foot. That's kind of funny. Keeping, keeping beat. It's the drummer's job, though. That's what we percussionists do. Gotta keep that beat. Okay, so if we don't have to fight another trainer. I don't know. I'll have to get a little bit closer to the side and see. That's not... <laughs> that is not an electric type. I get that, like, part of it is that they want to mix it up so that way it doesn't get boring. But, I mean, at the very least, like, don't, don't put your gym in a position where it's just electric types. But what you could do is, like, have electric subtypes. There's so many Pokemon that would have been great choices to put in this gym that they chose not to use, which is unfortunate. It would have been pretty fun to experiment with that a little bit. But man, we were just getting level ups galore here. And unfortunately for not really being a super effective type, Scarlet is doing a bang up job with those stats. 
All right, I don't know. I think there's just like one more trainer, which is unfortunate because I don't want to fight anyone else. Yes, of course there is. All right, just one. And then I'm going to backtrack. There isn't any chance you can beat me off. Whatever. Whatever, girl. I'm going to do it. Yank. Oh, that's a guy. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Sorry, gag. These trainers angry. You and your big old Steelix. There's a good reason to bring Charlie. Probably the only action Charlie's gonna get in the gym today. Not really the best choice. Not really a whole lot that Charlie can do. Also, I don't know about what like dynamic that has, but it's like that that it, it avoided the move via my shout or something. Like I guess that's like kind of like a like a, an anime thing against Dialga because I'd used Flash with Bart a ton. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Because I'd used Flash with Bart a lot, it said that shout thing like every other turn. Or almost every turn, because I missed a bunch of moves. Which was weird, because it's like, I'm not... It, it's because Dialga was missing, not because I was getting out of the way. And also, like, these little messages of, like, landing a critical hit and stuff. Like, is it actually happening like that? Is the game just trying to punk me? I don't know. But as you can see... Charlie's stats are through the gosh dang roof right now. Dimitri's the only one that's lagging behind a little bit, but this is great because now Dimitri can come in and hopefully get an attack off before this Metacham poops on it. Metacham is one of those Pokemon that I mentioned before being really annoyed at. One of the early gyms in Ruby and Sapphire is a... Uh, give it a glass of milk. One of the early gyms in Ruby and Sapphire is a fighting gym. I think it's actually... It's not the first one, I think it's the second. In Duford, you fight, uh... You fight Brawly. Oh boy. Okay, so maybe not. At the very least, we can get, uh... Ooh, you know what? We'll just get Scarlet Knight. At the very least, we'll get Dimitri some screen time for the residual experience. Probably not gonna actually be able to do much. Yeah, no Thunder Punch and Rock Tomb. That would have wrecked me both ways. So I will pass. And we'll just use Cross Poison. I don't know if it's the most effective move I have. But Scarlet is a... She's a thick girl. With her accordion arms. Should be able to knock out this Metacham in two hits. Two shakes of a limb. Oh boy, what is this? Is this a fighting move? Nope. And that should do it. Bye, got him. See ya. Don't let the gears hit you on the way out. Done. Oh, we're so close. Unfortunately, our Pokemon will not be gathering their final level. Can I just head back from here? That'd be cool. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do that, and I will meet you all at the leader. See you in a minute. Okay, everybody. I am back. Who is ready for a gym leader battle? Our team for this one is going to be Samuel Raymond, Ert, and Grayson. Let's get started and take on this big baby. Give him a challenge he finally deserves, apparently. Huh? He's got his chain wallet. He's ready. Just got back from the hot topic. Oh, man. This guy looks the most anime of all the gym leaders, for sure. Oh, look how boring he looks. This is gonna be extra sweet knocking your your booty around. Here we go. The Volkner battle. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a good one. So he's gonna send out a Raichu. I love Raichu. Raichu's great. It's a good matchup for Samuel. Ground types are going to be turned supreme in this one. You're definitely going to want them. Ha! Ah, you fool! You thought... It's got a surfing Pikachu, apparently. Which has since evolved into a Raichu. It, it uh, ate some sort of a berry that's going to reduce the effectiveness. The Shuka Berry. Smort. 
it's it's good that he he definitely Shuka used that berry. Ha! Ah, see what I did there? But being the final gym leader, he's definitely gonna have full restores and the like, but you only got one berry, son. That's what happens. You should add two berries. We have a berry. We love berry. Okay. So we're doing great. Amber Palm. Amber Palm is the evolution of Apom. Which was uh, one of those monkey type Pokemon. Back in gold and silver, it got an evolution in this game and it looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm not sure what those appendages make you feel like, but I don't feel comfortable. Ooh, apparently it's quick. But Raymond has that part steel type. So we're gonna raise our stats here to ensure victory. We can boost our special and regular attack, which is nice. So work up is, you know, it doesn't boost the, uh, it doesn't boost one of the stats a ton, but it does boost the one. Oh man. I'm assuming he's got berries for all of his Pokemon that are supposed to make it reduced effectiveness, but uh, not today. Your Choppel Berry was used up just like you are. Ha! You're a, you're a wash, son. Okay, who's next? Artillery. So a normal type Pokemon followed by a water type. I don't quite understand it. I'm not gonna pretend like I do. However, we've got just the trick. Octillery is a cool Pokemon. Octillery was a Pokemon that if I remember correctly, in the, uh, in the beta sprite of Octillery, along with Remoraid, it's pre-evolution, it was a tank and Remoraid was a gun. And obviously you can't have guns and tanks in your Pokemon games. Just thinly veiled cartoonish terrorism. That's all you can do. But Octillery is not much of a match for Bard unless it's got like a like flamethrower or something. Ooh, Aurora Beam, that's trouble. Hopefully Bard can hang in there. We did paralyze it first, so we should... Actually, I could have taken it out with two Giga Drains, but I didn't think of that. However, we will still reign supreme. Okay. So that's three down. The fight is going swimmingly so far. That fight against the Octillery could have really sucked, but it didn't. So here we go, the final Pokemon, the Ace of Volkner, is surprisingly a Luxray, which I think is interesting because there are some higher level Sinnoh-specific electric Pokemon that could have been a much better fit than a Luxray, but, you know, who am I to complain? We'll see if Grayson can pull things off for us with a few bulldozes. Ooh, it does no ice fang. That's gonna hurt. Oh boy. I should have prepared for that. Was not uh, expecting that to happen. Okay. So let's see what we got. Samuel will be okay. Let's get Bart in there and see if we can paralyze it. I don't know if you can paralyze electric Pokemon. Can you? Maybe you can. Who also knows ice fang. This is probably stupid. Maybe we can get one off before it uses it again. Oh, Iron Tail? Ooh. That's not good. Things are looking grim. Uh-oh. Let's see if Samuel can withstand some moves. And there's Iron Tail, Ice Fang so far. Probably, I'm assuming, Thunderbolt. Crunch? Okay. Well, Samuel's a thick boy, so maybe we'll be okay. Ooh, defense falling. That's not ideal. But that is. We like that. Maybe Samuel can rule the... Oh, get out of here with your berries. Come on. We don't have time for this. Shocking, I didn't see this coming. I mean, you're not a psychic gym leader, of course you didn't. Ooh, and we get the quick claw proc. That's a winner. Bye. See ya, Volkner. You can go cry about your challenges somewhere else. But you didn't see that coming. Done, unfortunately. No experience for Grayson and Bart, but they're doing okay. Everybody's up to at least 45 now. Oh, now you want to learn rain dance? No. I don't have time for you to be dancing. As much as dancing is fun, we don't have time for it right now. 
But what we do have time for is winning a gym battle. Oh yeah. How about that? And 6,000 Poké Dollars? Holy smokes. Hee 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 hee. Ooh, we just tickled him. Tickled him pink. All right. I don't even think we saw the, like, the gym TM that usually the gym leaders will spam that move. I don't even think we saw it once. That's how elite we are. So we can use Waterfall. We can use any Pokemon we want. We got Voltner's Sticky Balls and the gym TM, which would have been cool to see. It's Charge Beam. Let's check out Charge Beam really quick. Before we... I wish it would just sort it. Mm. Just sort it every time. Okay. Not a great move. User attacks the target with an electric charge. The user may use any remaining electri electricity to raise its special attack stat. Not great accuracy. PP. Small PP. Small power. Not a fan. What I am a fan of is standing next to gym leaders after we beat them. And I just... Okay. To assert dominance. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And I'll see you next time. Bye.